What a wonderful knock, 53 from 37, and just really changed the game with your energy out there. How did you feel you were, you were playing on a wicket that no one else seemed to master as well as you did? Yeah, look, I think that's pretty generous. I came out there when there was four out already, so it was a little bit easier to try and kind of like hit the boundary riders early and try and get in a little bit. But um, yeah, just tried to kind of play a natural game. If it was there, kind of go f have, a, have a bit of a swing, but um, try and knocking things around. And obviously, Elise is really, really good at anchoring the innings, and we always know that if she's in there in the last few overs, she's good for a, a good couple of boundaries. So we always knew that even after a slow start, we could try and kind of pile on a few runs, so managed to get away with it today. I was going to ask you about it. You make it sound so easy. But one for 18 after the power play, after winning the toss and batting first, you may have had at least a second thought that maybe this isn't how it's meant to be going. Yeah. Look, there's been a couple of games this, this season where we've kind of um, crumbled in a heap. But um, no, it was a good wicket out there. So I think um, obviously Leah Tahuhu bowled exceptionally well early. Um, so obviously she bowled three early. So we could kind of like try and capitalise on some other bowlers and, and try to use the win to our advantage. So um, yeah, I think it's just try and play each ball as it comes. Sometimes it's easier said than done, but um, no, it worked out today. You knew you had something to play for. You wanted to finish on top. The Sixers always love winning and you love finishing on top. And you've got a game tomorrow. How will you reassess after today, knowing that a big game tomorrow at the MCG, where no doubt you want to do well? Definitely. And I think, um, obviously, um, now we've secured... Um, Top, a top spot on the table. Um, I think it gives us a lot more freedom as well. So, um, look, I have, haven't spoken to the coaching staff, but there might be a few changes um, and, and obviously some people going out with a few different plans and stuff. But it, I think it's really, really good to just to try a few things and possibly some bowlers in different roles and things like that. But obviously, game at the MCG, you don't get that every day. So we're pretty keen to kind of get out there and finish off with a win. You also get a few days off before you have the big semi-final on Saturday against the same opposition. What will you talk about during the week? Will you be training every day? Talk, talk us through your week as it stands. Um, at the moment, we've just got two training sessions um, scheduled with a couple of optional sessions if girls want an extra top up or hit. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably get back. We get back on Tuesday around midday. We'll have that day ob obviously off. A bit of a hit out on Wednesday, Thursday's day off, and then Friday a bit of a top up. So I think um, at this point, um, coaching staff is really kind of a, aware of how much cricket we've been playing and training. So I think sometimes less is more. And uh, yeah, this season they've really been implementing that a bit more. So that's no, really good. So hopefully, uh, get back. Um, um, Sydney after hopefully a win tomorrow and then um, reassess from there. Well, you've got a big smile on your face and fair enough you are our player of the match for a fantastic unbeaten 50. Congratulations and good luck for the next week. Great, thank you so much. Ta. Cheers.